What's going on, everybody? We got a really cool video with you guys today because we've got Aaron from Renegade Vans and he is a professional van builder. Like I said, it was a special tour. We have a box truck versus a van and we're going to kind of do quick tours on both of them and you guys can let me know in the, the comments below the verdict on which one you guys think is better. Not so much these builds, but what would you prefer, a box truck or a van? And these guys give their opinions and we're gonna talk a little bit about it, so here we go. You started yeah. Renegade Vans, how long ago? Uh, in 2017, I started Renegade Vans, doing vans since then until now, and now I've been doing box trucks. I got this big old box truck, enough man. people doing vans. Yeah, what's that? There's enough people doing vans. Like, enough people do doing vans. vans. Uh, but you can pretty much build anything. So what are we what are we sitting on right here? What is this? It's the E450 with a 7.3 diesel. It's 2001. Is this yours? Is this, this your is personal? Mine. I live in this one. This is your personal. Yeah. Sweet. What's the size of the box? The box is uh, 16 by 8. It's like seven and a half inside at least. What's the biggest difference? I I think I already know this answer, but between yeah. building in a box and building in a van. Well, it's square. There's more usable space way less compromises in terms of what you can fit in it and what you can fit underneath. You can fit all the gray water you want underneath and the propane. There's way more usable space and cheaper, easier to get than vans right now. Oh man, now we're gonna blow them up right now. I know, it's happening, <laughs> but I want people to know. Uh, all right, fair enough. It's a good option. And I guess, uh, Nolan, this is yours as this well. Take me through it, how do you get in this thing? Big doors I insulated, like two inches of foam in these. And, uh, and the box was already on it. You didn't have to. You know, to buy a box separately. No, the box was there. It had a garage door that I ripped out, framed out this back wall, and put in these doors. It was an aluminum box, aluminum studs every foot or so that I framed on top of, and then spray foamed. Started building. I got room for my tools. 55 gallon water tank. Do you build on site? Because you have a lot of storage for tools. Well. In the winter, or last winter at least, I went around and showed up at people's rigs and installed windows, solar, cabinets, whatever. But you I had to shop in Alamosa, where I, where I built this, where I, we're building that Did one. Did you come out to Gutted? Yeah, I was at Gutted. You were at and Gutted. I was doing this at Gutted. I was helping the DIY people with their rigs. I was just running around. No one was helping me. Oh, you were there and too? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Fixing people's stuff. People had problems. Are you like, competing <laughs> in season two? I might be. Okay. It seems like I am. <laughs> Ugh. Man, there's so much room in here. See, that's why I like doing the box trucks because you get a ton of room, and it's you can insulate the hell out of it. Like it's great, and you can put a full size shower. Like there's so much room, dude. Yeah. Before we even get all the way up there, man. Yeah. Like how big is your bed? Because look at all the room between the bed. Full size. Like I got a hallway. You have like legit. <laughs> It's a full size bed, it's eight inches, memory foam. Yeah, I came up with the idea. I just figured I wanted my bed back there. You know, I could have done the lounge back there and the bed up here, but I wanted this pass through door. So it kind of eliminates. Such a yeah. good idea. Uh, now, did you cut in the pass through or was that already there? I cut it in. There was a flimsy like cargo plastic that I basically ripped out and reframed and put the door in. Yeah. And how long have you been full time in this? For a year. For a year. Got this last April, finished it in July. You're gonna kill me. Can we turn that fan off? Yeah, Only because we got some sound and I wanna yeah, make sure. But that's a good point. We got a fan up on the ceiling. It looks like we got another fan up over the bed. What's your solar array up on that ceiling, up on that roof? On this I have 300 watts and a 200 amp hour lithium battery. Seems like you have a lot more room for a lot more solar if you wanted it. I could. It. On that one we took advantage of it, but on this one, all my stuff's pretty low draw. Okay. Propane stove, propane heat, 12 volt fridge, 12 volt fans and lights. And so you got propane so stove, need. propane heat. Yeah. Did you do your own propane heat? No, this is a general components. It's actually a hybrid propane electric heater. No That's way. That's a furnace and a water heater. It's got like almost a three gallon tank. I can choose the ratio of like AC power to propane. Usually I just run it all propane unless it's real sunny. Have water. you run into any like condensation issues? Uh, no, it's vented outside. Beautiful. It's good. There's yeah. your gutted flag that I just realized. Flag. I got from Greg. <laughs> you got from Greg Savage? In the sand, yeah, he gave it to me. Oh, man. That's my window shade. You, yeah. Nice. Me and Greg kick it. <laughs> Are you and Greg still kick it to this day? Oh, yeah, I bring my old truck and we work. I help him with his stuff. And For people that don't know, Greg was actually the, the guy's, I guess, place that we used. Forget yeah, it. he had the property. Yeah. He still does. Uh, you're yeah. going to have to remind me again, what is the distance again from back to front? Uh, About 15 feet. So, Back dude, you, like, I don't think people understand how big this is. Right. 
This is massive. For sure. Compared to vans. And Everyone sorry to poo poo all over your van, Nolan. It's all right. You know, I'll get my I've chance. I'll get my turn in court. Have you been pooping on vans all day? Yeah. All right. Is box trucks the way like to go is. now? I think so. I think so too. I don't even want to build vans anymore. You know, you build these for clients now. I know this is going to fluctuate, but what yeah. is your what is your low end price to high end price? Uh, I mean, generally I'm charging 85 an hour, but to compare like this one, it just depends on the labor. Like yeah. this, I put 12 in materials, two months of labor. So that'd be like you know, 25, 30 in labor. It's pretty good. That one, this is a decent price. I got low overhead. I yeah, low truck. overhead. Yeah. You know? but that I live in a like, truck. <laughs> yeah. That one's like twice the materials. It's like 25-ish in materials. More. There's a lot, but it's got really nice stuff. And yeah, we'll get some B-roll of it. It's three months, so that's going to be more labor. And by the way, the reason we're not showing that other truck off is because yeah. it's only about 80% complete? It's like 80% there. Latches aren't on. Okay. Some outlets aren't hooked up, but a lot of the stuff, the woodworking's done. Love the ceiling, done. obviously. I really do. What material did you use up here on the wood here? Uh, this is pine, and behind it is three-quarter inch ply. It's AC and painted black. Can I ask you what's up with the, the piping? Yeah, so I keep all my pipes on the inside so I can keep them from freezing, keep it warm in here in the winter. And I got straighter valves on here to blow it all out in case it's going to oh. freeze and I'm not going to be in here. Okay. So I blow out the whole system. It blows out the heater, blows out everything. I open all the valves. And uh, for people that don't realize if he's in Alamos, Colorado, Colorado, that gets cold. It's like negative 20 at night and it'll get up to like 50 in the day. That's in the winter. That's in the winter. Big old shower. It looks like it's a residential shower, dude. It's a two by three. This would go back. Custom build, or did you uh, did you just buy a shower stall? I bought the pan, and then I uh, built the walls at FRP and put in the fan, so no, it wasn't like a kit. And then I put in a little nook. Again, so much freaking room here. I mean, we fit three of us in here without breaking a sweat. Comfy. You got a beautiful uh, kitchen countertop. Um, well done there, sir. Thank you. I love how you you live out of this. You didn't clean up for me. This is real van life for me. I love it. This is, I mean, real van life's a little dirtier, but I've been keeping clean for the show. You so obviously right. custom built your own cabinetry. Yeah, for sure. Like, do it all on one piece of plywood so all the grain will run together and put in these nice little latches. Nothing flies open on your driver. Nothing flies open. Toilet, which is everybody's concern in van yeah. life. Where is my toilet? So my toilet is in my shop. When I live in this outside of my <laughs> shop, I'm using that. Okay. Or it's in the woods, or is at the gym? Right. If I'm on the road, you know it's at the gas station. He's yeah. got a system. I've seen him just on the on the road. I feel like different people just have different priorities depending on how yeah. they travel. And you know, you have an, we both have an anytime fitness membership, and you take showers there, and and well, you have a shower here, but when you don't want to use that, right? You make it work. Sometimes I just rough it, and I'm fine. How many water uh, waters do you have? How many wa gallons of water do you have? I got 55 waters. 55, 55 waters? Of water. <laughs> yeah, that was... That 55 was, waters I, a gallon. Yeah, yeah, I definitely set myself up for that one. Yeah. 55 uh, in the fresh and then 45 grams. That's what van life's all about, is figuring it out. Yeah, van life's about workarounds and making it work, and it's it's not a house, you know? Yeah? There's going right. to be trade-offs and compromises. Field outside my shop. <laughs> you live in the yeah. field We've outside your shop. literally just been yeah, parked in a field. Since we've been working on this together, yep. he's been there doing it yeah the landlord's great uh you even i doubt you probably even you probably sit here to have your meals if that yeah and this looks like a nice little it pops just off. a nice little bench isn't that cute and stuff. beautiful yeah. pretty simple yeah basic basic um, box nice. trucks basic box truck keep it basic BBT. Well, you want to show off the van you want yeah. to show off the, the difference between it. a van and a box truck okay now it's my time i have my time in court all right let's go you know oh, what man. different strokes for different folks all right so what do we what do we got before we go inside so this is a 2020 ford transit high roof extended cargo van okay um, that's a big van yes not as big as that box truck it's it's not as big as the box right. truck exactly <laughs> so i'm so from New York City and from the Bronx and a part of my build I thought okay well when I visit family back home I can't really take a box truck I can't take a, a schoolie I can't take something I mean this is the biggest thing that I can take even this you know my family's trying to reserve a parking spot like a few days before so I was actually gonna bring that up to you right. earlier was it's a little yeah. bit harder to park your boxy than it is a vanny right, we'll take up a space and a half Okay. You fit in one space? I fit in one space. And the reason why behind the rear wheels, he got this big booty. Just the reason why this is great is because a lot of spots, like in, in the back of a parking lot, you'll have an area where there's a curb and there's some grass. Sure. And I can back into it. And yeah. this overhang allows me to fit 
into one spot. No can, problem. Can you so do that with your box? I can do that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't really yeah. Do right. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk about it. <laughs> so yeah, the way this came, you know, um, was just a, a cargo van, basically no windows um, other than up here, and um, I'll just show you. So is this technically a renegade van built? I he got a lot of people to work in his van, and I helped with a lot of it. Yeah. Okay. This, this would. Whole ordeal. I would call this a massive collaboration of people from all walks of life, all, all right. respective trades. Um, I honestly didn't want to go with one company uh, to convert my van, and the reason for that I was I was honestly trying to save on cost. Um, so I wanted to see what I could do myself, and I wanted to see by hiring a lot of local workers in my community, um, how having different workers from respective uh, from their respective trades, the, how that could come together to build a van. So I hired people from local body shops, local electricians, uh, plumbers, the whole, some were friends, nice. uh, some were family. So I really wanted to utilize as many people in my community. And the reason why I met Aaron is because in Oklahoma, I didn't find any van conversion companies. When I searched van conversion, Renegade Vans in Colorado came up. Um, and initially, Aaron actually consulted me on the phone. I paid him for his time on the phone. He would make lumber lists, teach me how to cut holes and doors to install windows. A lot of it was done over the phone until I met him in person and, and he built some stuff out. I mean, people are gonna ask you right away what yeah. this is. Okay, so this company is called Dickinson Marine. This is a marine heater, but there's a lot of overlap you know, between marine life and the van life. So this is a propane heater. And what you do is you basically open this up and you take a lighter and you light the chamber. In here, you turn the gas on, you light the chamber, and then you flip this switch and there's a fan. It's a 12 volt uh, fan. I wanted to go for, I don't know what kind of vibe it is, kind of like a cabin. I was gonna say, it's almost like a yacht. It's, it's almost it's very yeah. yacht feeling, yeah. So music. What did you say? It's boaty. It's boaty. I said boaty, I said, I said yachty, so yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So Same difference. For this build, music was, music was an integral part of this build. So, as you can see here, oh my goodness, I got a full. You got a freaking key, keyboard. keyboard. Okay, where's your keyboard, bro? Yeah, I got a guitar. Huh? I did see the guitar. So, I mean, you guys jam out with guitar and keyboard. We jam out. We yeah. jam it. All right. So basically, before I was living in a van, I was gigging in New Orleans full time as a okay. drummer, and I was writing, record music, playing live, and all the venues closed. Um, I was trying to figure out what to do. I got a van, but I wanted to try to take the music with me. Um, so I had this full 88 keyboard. I actually framed uh, my porthole windows with drums. I see that. So, the drum snare, whatever they're called. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So um, cut a drum in half, and it was a 13 inch drum around a 12 inch. There you go. Okay, um, just check it. Just yeah, check. there you go. It's around a, a 12 inch <laughs> porthole, and I got a little red drum head. So, yeah, basically, you're looking at. Um, you got your keyboard, you Leave got your anybody, huh? fridge, freezer, slide out. That's a dual zone. Oh, by the way, there was a fridge in yours. I didn't point it out, but there was a fridge. Was a fridge yeah. There was a Would fridge. Would you know what there wasn't in his? A freezer? A freezer. Yeah, I saw, I saw the fridge freezer here, and I did only notice there was a fridge in yours. Well, that's true. That's a... <laughs> My roof deck's bigger. I don't know. No. People can Do you have a big can... deck? I have a big deck. Yeah, okay, I got a just small check. Deck. You have a small deck? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that conversion of the bed system? I love it. Personally, okay. this was one of the debates I had okay. when I was building, you know, what kind of bed setup I'd want. I had seen a couple on an Instagram build that I, I just really loved the layout of their build and they had this dinette bed um, conversion deal. So basically I modeled this build similar to theirs, except um, on this side, I wanted a full keyboard. That works for me. I like to host people and hang out. You got a cool cool little cooktop there, or oven, I should say. Yeah, this is um, this is an oven range, so this flips up, Yeah. and it's a three burner. Uh, you see it a lot in the van life world, Yeah. RV it, world. There's an oven, I like to bake uh, all kinds of breads, so um, that works for me. I didn't want to sacrifice in it. I was gonna be living in it full time, and everyone has their different priorities and their different lifestyles, so it's there's no right answer, you know, yeah. of what you need, it's just, um, what you want to take with you. I just saw a little detail. I wanted to see that. Thank you. Very nice. Oh, and a little another drum. Yeah, another drum here. Got a sink, cutting board fit in the sink. Very nice. Um, and then this is my friend. For whoever wants to name my friend, uh, he is yet to have been named. I got Cusco for got? one. Eagle? For Eagle. Igor. E Igor? Igor. Igor. Igor the one. Eagle? Yeah. That's a good one. It looks one. like an Igor. I know. 
Okay, and he's also an eagle. Yeah. He's also an eagle. Did you make it? I didn't make it. Okay. I got, <laughs> got it on the this amazing craftsman on um, on the uh, River Gorge a bridge over the the Rio Grande in Taos. And okay. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. There you go. That'll be awesome. All right. And so then I got the wet bath here. You got the wet bath with the. Uh, uh -oh. Yeah. You got the wet bath with obviously the nature's head compost until it looks That's like. Correct. Yeah. And uh, obviously you, you can shower in your van too. You don't need that planet yeah. or member gym membership. No, I don't. I can shower in my van. Um, I wanted a toilet in my van. Um, Do you guys have a shower at the shop? Or no. just use your no. showers? Just use our showers. Yeah, just use the shower there. The verdict what is better, a van or a uh, box truck? I mean, there's a reason you're building this other box truck with me. <laughs> right in there. So wait a minute, are you building a box truck for yourself now? No, with him. The other oh. one and I are building on. one. Yeah, okay. I'd say, yeah. you know, because the box I feel like with all of this, there's no right answer. What I will say is that right you know, answer. if you're gonna do, <laughs> there's a right answer. <laughs> if you're gonna do a lot of traveling in cities too, like I've I've camped in downtown Philly, you mm -hmm. know, at meters, you can't really do that in a box truck in a meter. You can't can't really park in in the city in New York. I mean, I guess you could. But in areas where parking is harder to come by, for me, this is, this is better. If I had all the space and that wasn't as much of a concern, um, I would probably want a box truck. You know, I could fit more things. I wouldn't have to sacrifice as much. So, yeah. Any rebuttal? And I just think for the money you're gonna spend on a vehicle and the amount of space you're gonna get and how well you're gonna be insulated, insulated in there and the amount of components you can fit into there, like you're gonna get more bang for your buck with a box truck. Okay. And so maybe you can go less places. Yeah. But it's gonna be way more capable for less money. I That's think. And true. More comfortable. Well, there it is. That's There's a lot of a lot think. of opinions. We could have yeah. opinions for days. Different. And then They're you got guests. Then you got guests. Oh, we're gonna argue I don't guests. Hate vans. I just don't want to build vans. I just I don't hate vans. I don't want to build them. Okay, that's I think fair. He's just built so many. I've done vans enough vans that he's vanned out. I mean, this he's is a guy. Out. I can't even count how many I don't vans curve, he's built. Any more curved walls? Well, guys, thank you so much. I got Renegade Vans, Aaron at Renegade Vans, and Nolan. Nolan at. Do you have a? Oh boy. I'm Nolan just at Nolan, Nolan at Nolan. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah. I'm, You're just Nolan. I love just it. Let's Nolan. just keep yeah. that. Yeah. I love that. Uh, thanks again, guys, for showing off. And we're obviously the two, which was awesome. Uh, to kind of have in one video. So thanks yeah. again. We'll see you guys soon. No problem. Thanks. I could run through the fire. I could conquer.